our Salvenza trial, which is short for our phase two randomized study of salvage radiation plus enzalutamide or blinded placebo for high risk PSA recurrent cancer after radical prostatectomy was built on the premise that we know that salvage radiation is a curable modality in patients who have biochemical recurrence after radical prostatectomy. We have data to show that it can control, uh, improve control rates. Uh, and even in selected cases, uh, selected studies show improved metastatic recurrence and death from prostate cancer. However, we also know that salvage radiation alone is not enough, particularly in high-risk patients. And so we have a number now, um, three in particular, uh, level one phase three randomized studies showing that salvage radiation combined with hormonal therapy can improve those outcomes. The hormonal therapy was predominantly engine deprivation therapy. And as many folks know, that comes at a cost, which is toxicity to the patient. Some notable toxicities include metabolic syndrome, uh, decrease in bone mineral density, erectile dysfunction, and overall decrease in patient quality of life. There are and have been over the last few years improvements and innovations in hormonal therapy. So there are new options, not just androgen deprivation therapy, but also new second, third generation androgen receptor blockers or androgen receptor signaling inhibitors. One of which is enzalutamide has a really um, novel mechanism of action. There's very provocative phase two data that enzalutamide alone without traditional hormonal or androgen deprivation therapy can have very similar PSA responses, but toxicity profile was uh, much, much better. So this was really the underlying premise and made us think that enzalutamide alone might be an ideal candidate to test with salvage radiation in high-risk <clears throat> biochemically recurrent prostate cancer patients. So that's why and how we designed the Salvenza trial, which was a phase two randomized blinded, double um, blinded, placebo-controlled trial testing the efficacy of adding enzalutamide versus placebo to salvage radiation patients. This was a relative high risk cohort. Um, so rising PSA after radical prostatectomy, having to have at least a Gleason eight to 10 or Gleason seven was allowed, but you also had to either have you know pathologic T3 or margin positive disease. PSA had to be less than 0.7 and patients had to be ugonadal, which we selected as 150 nanograms per deciliter. Patients were then randomized one to one, uh, stratified by a number of factors to either salvage radiation plus placebo versus the experimental arm, which was radiation plus enzalutamide. Primary endpoint was freedom from PSA progression. 